Hi guys, today is October day 10. Um, it's October 10th and today is World Mental Health Day. So I wanted to create a video that would kind of go along with a blog post that I'm working on. Um, it'll be up this week on my website, so you can definitely check that out. Um, today I'm going to be talking about how to deal with anxiety specifically or depression or any other type of mental illness in a safe and healthy way. Now I'm not a doctor by any means, I'm not a psychologist, but I am a psychology minor, so I do have a little bit of background on this information, and I also have anxiety myself, and these tips that I'm going to give you help me, and I'm hoping that they'll help some of you as well. So the first thing that I do to help with my anxiety is listen to music. I always have my headphones on, and it's a way for me to um, figure out the mood that I'm in, the mood that I want to be in, and use music to kind of get me into that state. So for example, I have Spotify, I have Pandora, and I have Songza, and all of those apps can be on your phone, and they're music apps that allow you to pick playlists that are already created based on your mood. And this is great because you can identify what mood you want to be in, and you can listen to music that will hopefully help you get there. The next thing, this is probably the hardest thing that I deal with, um, and I've been dealing with anxiety for a very long time, and the one person that I talk to about it is my dad. And his advice is to keep your mind busy and keep your mind productive. Um, you don't want to keep it busy with negative thoughts. You definitely want to do something productive with your mind um, and yourself in general. So what I do is I create lists like this one. Um, I create lists, especially if I'm feeling anxious. I'll write down things that I need to do that day or things that I want to accomplish, and I'll start working on them. So, for example, if my house is really messy or I know that I need to work on a project, I'll list it out in steps, and just doing that helps me calm down a little bit and helps me visualize exactly what I need to get done. Um, and that's keeping my mind off of any other things that could be making me feel anxious. Now, this is definitely not a tip that you want to use in the middle of an anxiety attack because I don't think it would be very beneficial, um, but it could be used before or after. Um, if you're just starting to feel a little bit of anxiety, definitely keep your mind productive and start working on those things that are going to benefit you rather than put you in a negative space. A certain thing um, is something that I have started doing and I love it so much. Um, start journaling. Um, I just kind of picked up a composition book at school and just started writing things down about my day. What is nice because I don't really have to worry about anybody else judging me. I can write down exactly what I want um, and I can get all of those thoughts onto paper and just doing that helps me feel a little bit better about it. Um, so I would definitely recommend journaling. If you're somebody who has a hard time writing, go on Pinterest and look at prompts. Um, I'm also going to have them on my blog post. Um, go and look at prompts and that can help you just get your mind into the habit of writing every day. I also use it to level my anxiety, so every day I'll rate my anxiety from a 1 to a 5. This helps me kind of see where I'm at and see the patterns that um, I'm dealing with. And this is something that I've talked to counselors about and talked to therapists about, and they definitely recommend this as well. Looking at those patterns and seeing if maybe those days that your anxiety is at an all-time high, what's going on those days and how can you fix it and avoid those things. Um, the next thing is exercise. It doesn't have to be anything huge because I don't exercise at all. But um, just going outside, especially if it's a sunny, pretty day. Right now, Kaloi is gorgeous. Kind of going outside definitely helps, especially if I have my music. Because you're getting that exercise, your body is moving. Um, you're not just laying around, you know, thinking about things. Um, so exercising definitely helps. And the last thing, um, not really a tip, but just something I want to share, is it's okay if you have to ask for help. I know for a long time, I didn't think that was something that was okay. Um, I wanted to keep all of that by myself and to myself, um, but it is definitely okay to ask for help, especially if you need to talk to a psychiatrist or um, get any type of medication. That is totally fine, and it's understandable, and your feelings are just as valid as anybody else's. I think a lot of people have the stigma that, you know, you have to take medication to get over anxiety and depression, and some people do and some people don't, and both situations are equally okay. Those are my five tips. I hope that everybody had a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!